I was, I was born in P.O. Illinois. What's that? That's a city, nigga. <laughs> you probably wouldn't know nothing about that, see? Old country ass, boy. <laughs> and when I was little, there was an old man, his name was Mudbone, and he dipped snuff, and he'd sit in front of the barbecue pit, and he'd spit. See, that was his job. I'm pretty sure that was his job, eh? because that's all he did. But he'd tell stories, fascinating stories. Eh? He was fascinating. And I loved him. It made me very happy. Because I'd stay with him and listen to this stuff. See, you're lying to someone when you listen to old people. They ain't all fools. Eh? Well, you don't get to be old being no fools. Eh? <laughs> so, a lot of young wise men, they're dead in the motherfucker, ain't they? <laughs> so, he'd sit out there and tell these stories. And he said, when I first came up here from Tupelo, Mississippi, I drove up here in a tractor. That's right, 746 miles on one tank of gas. <laughs> Sam, so I had to leave Tupelo because I was working down there. I was in charge of the levee in Lawrence County. So one night the levee bust and they blamed it on me. See? Now, shit, ain't a nigga in the world can hold back no water when they want to go. <laughs> and they asked me, say, why didn't you warn the people? Well, shit, I couldn't be running through that water warning nobody. They were going to find out sooner or later anyway. <laughs> I worked for this white man, his name was Bud Jenner. And I worked for, he was all right to work for, see? He was all right for a white man, he wasn't bad, see? But he had a son named Junior. He was cockeyed. We called him Cockeyed Junior. And he was hard to work for, man, because his eyes went every what you way, see? He say, nigga, pick that up, you know, and four or five niggas been down, see? <laughs> he fell in love with this girl from Pittsburgh. I went to the depot to pick her up, see? I had a horse named Ginger. I hooked her up, went down, Ginger, went down there, picked her up at the depot. She got off the train. Big woman weighed about 460 pounds. She got off the train sideways. They was pushing her ass off in them. <laughs> well, I saw her. I said, well, shit, fine for him. He cockeyed. It don't mean nothing to him. <laughs> and I walked over to her, introduced her. I said, ma'am, Miss Ma'am, no name Mudbone. And I tipped my hat, bitch slapped me across my head. <laughs> said, nigga, pick up the bag. Well, I said, God damn. What kind of shit? I ain't never got damn. What kind of shit? You know, I said this to myself. <laughs> oh, in them days, that's all a nigga could do was get mad, see? So I got mad. And I tried to help in the bucket, the bitch snatched away from me. You know, oh, up at the bitch, see? Say, goddamn. She stepped on the buggy and the goddamn thing turned over on her. Well, I couldn't laugh. See? I had to bite a hole in my goddamn lip. See? Blood trickling down and shit. Heart stepped all in her face. I took my time by getting that buggy off of her. So I set it up for her, helped her in the buggy. And I was in your home, you know, going home. Bitch, lean over and slap me upside the head again. <laughs> One of them good ones, too. It sounded pay out like that. I said, maybe this bitch shot me. Shit. <laughs> well, we kept on home. I'm thinking of shit to do it on now. See? So I got home, went to the tool shed, and got me one of them Craig Jigsaw. And I saw the bottom out of the outhouse. <laughs> and I hid in the bushes. 
and waited for this big collard green eating bitch to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Well, long about 8.30, she come this to go in the bathroom. I'm in the, in the bushes looking at her. She wobbled out to the outside and then opened the door, went in, <laughs> shut the door. I heard a big splash. That's when I got in the tractor and drove up here. I wasn't mad no more either. <laughs> 